Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how I made the tool that I used to build a dome in my brick oven using things that you probably have laying around the house. The tool that we're going to be making is actually called a trammel. A lot of people call it the indispensable tool. It will help you make a perfectly round Tuscan style Pompeii oven. If you want more information about the oven that I built, you can check out my website. There's a whole page dedicated to it that will give you all the dimensions, the materials, and a lot of other information that you might find helpful. And let's just go over the things that you're gonna to need to do this. You're gonna need a few different size screws depending on the thickness of the material that you're gonna be using. You're also gonna need a caster. Anything will do, don't get anything too big. Actually, the smaller the better. And you're also gonna need several pieces of scrap wood. I know many of you have probably seen the other videos that I have up on how I built the oven. If you haven't seen those, you should check those out because this might make a little bit more sense. Uh, those will be linked in the description and if you wait till the end of the video, they'll pop up and you can click on them then. So you may remember that I featured this template in a couple of the videos that I had done and this thing was super important. And what this is, is the footprint of the entire oven. Not just the interior diameter, but the entire footprint of the entire oven before I put insulation on it. So the diameter of this is 48 inches, exactly. Now, like I said, this is the entire footprint. So you have to understand that the interior diameter of your oven is going to be different. So using these bricks, I cut them in half and they end up taking up an additional four inches of the diameter of my template here. So if you put them on each side, you will lose a total of eight inches of your diameter. This, from, from this edge of the, the brick to that edge of the brick, you end up with 40 inches, and that is the diameter of my oven. Now, you need to understand that because the tool that you're going to make is going to be making a perfectly circular arch, like this, and also like this, and so, you need to make sure you have the proper length of your tool because if your tool is too short, it's gonna end up creating a circular pattern that is smaller than the diameter of your oven and that might be a problem. Also, if it's too big, it will make a, a diameter that is larger than you planned for. Before we even begin making this tool, you have to consider something really important. How will I be able to remove it when the oven is finished? So, to solve that problem, this is going to be used all the way across the diameter of the oven uh, and it is going to be cut into two pieces. So to start, I want to cut this down to the diameter of our oven, which is 40 inches. So basically what we're doing here is we're building our base and I am going to find the center of this piece because this is going to be the center of our diameter. And later on, we're going to be needing this to attach our arm, which is going to eventually allow us to build our arches and our dome. Now we're going to be installing a second piece underneath this and we don't need a full extended piece here because once this is actually being used, this will press up against the brick that goes here and these will be set against the bricks that go here. It's not going to move and it'll be perfectly centered for your entire build. Now the idea is this from the center point here to here is exactly 20 inches. You want to mount this piece underneath this one so that the edge of this piece here and the point here, the center of your piece here is exactly 20 inches as well. Make sure that you are also square. Super important, okay? Before we go any further, make sure you taper your, your, your corners. That way they don't interfere with the placement of your bricks. I'm going to be cutting this piece right around this little area over here. And the reason for that is that way when the dome is completed, I'll be able to disassemble this piece and then I can slide it out easily. And before I actually make the cut, I am going to mount this piece underneath temporarily because it is going to be what reconnects everything perfectly. So instead of trying to figure out the perfect placement after I make the cut, I'm gonna screw this in first and then I'll take the screws out and I'll have the holes already in place. I'll cut it and then I can reassemble it very easily. We are also going to put a small piece underneath here 
So that way it's even and it doesn't wobble. Now it's time to attach the other axis and here it is. So we already have our measurements ready. The only thing I would recommend is that you use something square to actually make the, the, the connection here. Make sure you don't shift because that could be a problem later on. And I'm also going to pre-drill a couple of holes just because that way I can get those first couple of screws in uh, without this shifting on me. Now it's time to build the arm and the arm needs to be able to swivel. So I used the caster. I thought this was like the easiest thing I, I could think of and I had one laying around. So now some casters are like this where it's just a nut and bolt and it's very easy to remove the wheel. That is not always the case. Other casters have a rivet, something like this, which is not removable unless you do something else. So I am going to take this wheel off and then I'm going to show you how to remove a wheel that would have a rivet because I'm going to actually remove this. This is the brake for the caster. In fact, if you have a caster with a brake, you should probably remove it because I found that this was in the way when I was building my oven. Make sure that when you install this swivel that you center it exactly. That's why I extended these lines like this so that way you can kind of just center these holes on these lines and you'll have it pretty close to what you want. To set up our arm assembly, I'm gonna be measuring in between here so that way I can fit it perfectly and use the same exact bolt that, I, that we had on the actual wheel itself. Just a little side note, you don't need a bandsaw. Uh, the only real power tool you need is a drill, uh, and a handsaw would be just fine to get the cuts that you need for this project. Since we want our inside diameter to be 40 inches, this arm needs to space bricks at half of that, so at 20 inches, which means we're gonna need to put some kind of a stop here so we can get the same placement every single time. So I'm gonna just use, since I have this all set up, I'm just gonna make a mark onto here. And this is, that mark is where my stop is gonna go. Don't use material that's too thick here. Uh, the thinner the better, as long as it gets the, the job done, which is it allows you to place your brick in the same position every time. So our next step here is to cut this down because this is way too long. So. Uh, you just eyeball it a little bit beyond the, the brick itself, maybe right here, and we'll cut it down, and then we'll be ready to attach it. So there it is. It's really not that bad, and it's definitely worth the time and effort to make one of these and make it right, because it's going to save you a lot of time when you're actually building your dome. If you haven't seen the videos on how I built my dome, you can check those out. I'll link them in the description. Also, I have an entire page dedicated to the oven that I built with a lot of information that's not covered in the videos, including the kinds of materials that I used. So you can check that out. I'll link that in the description as well. Um, and again, like always, I hope everybody's healthy and safe, and I will see you in the next one.